Welcome to Strictly J's Certified Heat. What's going on, y'all? This your homeboy, Strictly J. Here with another one once again. This is Certified Heat. You already know what it is. Check it out. I got a shoe. I got a shoe that is not as popular as of right now. I haven't seen a lot of people reviewing them. I haven't seen a lot of people wearing them. But I'm particular to the cool gray. And I'm the one that not to follow what everybody else is doing. So I wouldn't say, you know, um, I'm just doing it just because nobody else is. But I like to shoot. So therefore, I got the shoe. So come to find out, I compared the shoe to the Jordan 20. Um, very similar, as in, uh, I would say, uh, somewhat as in design and also the silhouette of the shoe. Somewhat similar. I wouldn't say all the way, but somewhat similar. So without further ado, we're going to review the LeBron James 10, Soldier 10. All right. So it comes in this uh, nifty box right here. Kind of different from the Jordan boxes we usually see. Uh, see, it has all this stuff on here. It's like a regular box. It has most of the stuff on the side of it, right? So, okay, as you can see, LeBron James, LeBron Soldier 10, my fault. LeBron Soldier 10, right, size 11. So, as I open, Open the box up. Take one of these suckers out. All right, so these are the gray ones. LeBron Soldier 10. First thing I notice on these shoes is three straps. You know, the gray colorway, you know, of course, was one of my. Uh, it's one of my favorite colorways on any shoe. It looks like almost, almost any shoe. So, um, with this LeBron Soldier 10, uh, it came with the three straps. There's no shoe strings. There's only straps. Um, you see the mesh throughout the upper, and it wraps all the way around. It's to It's all mostly mesh and some kind of. Uh, Looks like dimples under. Let's see if I can get that. Looks like dimples under the shoe. Under the under the mesh, I want to say now. Under the shoe. Under the mesh. So I don't know why. This is just I, I guess this is kind of like Nike stepping away from the norm. Um, you know, everybody has the shoe strength system. Everybody has, you know other stuff that everybody else has in every other shoe um, this like I said this reminds me of the Jordan 20 with the straps you know but I'm gonna I'm get into that comparison also in here in a minute but you know it has the three straps you know Nike Nike check on the side you know Nike check on the other side this is what's different about this shoe though inside of the shoe take this out inside of the shoe you got these I don't know if we could pick it up but these little pods they like uh, I guess they comfort the ankle it's kind of like a cushion on both sides of the shoe and also a little bit on the tongue so on the insole probably can't get a good picture of it but on the insole we got the Dunk Man, SLDR, um, the Lion with the Crown, L23, all of his logos pretty much, all of Brian James's logos. So, got the Nike check on the sides. I can't say I ever bought uh, LeBron, another LeBron shoe. I'm mostly Jordan and mostly retro Nike. You know, I really don't venture outside of that. But, not one to follow the masses you know i like some of the shoes that everybody else likes just because it's a badass shoe well but i get the shoe because i like it it's not what somebody else says is you know oh this is a tight ass shoe you should get it you know it's more like i like the shoe so i'm gonna get it so 
on the bottom of this shoe, I would think these are air bubbles. I don't know what they are. They feel like some kind of cushion, cushion piece in there. Okay, um, so as I'm looking at each one of these little squares in it, it has some numbers and stuff in there. I don't know what that, what that even uh, is pertaining to. So you see on the front of the shoe, I want to see these these numeral. It, there's Roman numerals going across the shoe, like all around, like this, from here all the way around. Right? There's numeral Roman numerals that stops at nine, so I would guess that would be the Roman numerals for the soldier uh, edition of the LeBron James. So, on the tab right here. There's a logo. I said I'm not too familiar with the LeBron um, line, but on the back the same logo. But overall, this is a very comfortable shoe. But what I can say, this shoe is very hard to put on. But once you get it on, it's a very comfortable shoe. So what I wanted to do right here um, is just compare this. Y'all know I got. I got two pairs of Jordan 20, so I'm gonna just take one pair and just compare it. Say, so we got we got two stars on here today, right? This is the Air Jordan 20. This is my Quick Strike uh, Air Jordan 20, right? So I put them up side by side, it's kind of like the same silhouette, something like the same silhouette. Only thing is on a Jordan, you got that break all around and you can kind of see so on the Jordan you can kind of unstrap this sucker and you know you can wear the, you can wear the strap back like that or you know whatever you want to do and the LeBron James is nothing like that so uh, you know but I mean damn near the same silhouette damn near on feet um, I said this this is a now this shoe is very hard to put on like I said uh, try to stick your foot in it and it's gonna give you a little bit of hard time I'm guessing this is kind of like a performance shoe but like I said I like the shoe so that's why I reviewed it that's why I put it up um, as usual if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe to the channel Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter. All of that information is down in the description below. Um, hopefully you'll be seeing, matter of fact, I got another pair coming. So you'll be seeing another review on the, on the other pair that I have coming in. But this is a nice colorway. This is why I reviewed it. Um, we'll go ahead and do that on feet. Hey, it's your homeboy Strictly J. And if you don't know already, I already said all that stuff, but shit, check me out. Check all the other videos out. Like, comment, share. And I'll check y'all in the next video, man. Peace.